Hello, this is Bobby Kagans with Freedom Gunworks and CK Arms. Today we want to talk to you about this little tool that we've designed. Uh, it's an extractor removal tool. It work with any kind of extractor, but it's really handy when you have to deal with an AFTEC. So we're going to demonstrate it for you today with this commander length open gun we have here. Um, first thing we want to do is remove the top end from the gun. Take out our recoil assembly. Remove the barrel. Now we're ready to take out the firing pin and firing pin spring and firing pin stop. So I'm going to depress the firing pin and firing pin spring here, being careful to catch the firing pin so it doesn't go flying across the room. Take out the firing pin stop. And now we're ready to move, remove the AFTEC extractor. Now the extractor hook will get caught on the breech face if you don't have some means for pressing it to the side. The Freedom Gunworks extractor removal tool is engraved on one side. It's thick on one end and thin on the other. So for removal, you want to take the thin or the thick end with the engraving, put the engraving against the breech face, and just kind of press it up in there like so, so that it presses the extractor to the side. The next step, take your small flat blade screwdriver and prise up on the extractor just like this and you can remove it. So this is what makes reinstallation of the AFTEC a little bit tricky. It's got these springs here that use compression to uh, create the tension used to hold the cartridge. So this cap goes over these springs like this but when it comes time to insert it back in the extractor cut, it wasn't, it doesn't fit. While you've got this stuff out, a real important part of maintenance is taking a Q-tip and cleaning out your extractor hole and your firing pin hole. A little solvent in there and a Q-tip will go a long way to make sure you have those clean. Should be done at least every 2,500 rounds. Now, for installing the extractor back in here, you see it won't go. Again, we're going to take the engraving side of the extractor uh, removal tool You'll notice that it's tapered on one side and flat on the other. So we're going to take the engraving side and against the cap we're going to push the engraving side of the tool in just like this. So you see the orientation the tool is pressing against the cap. Take our thumb, press down against the AFTEC and simply remove the tool and the AFTEC slides right in. Now we can just sort of clock the AFTEC about like we want it, get it started back in the slide, and then we can use this, the removal tool to help align the extractor for firing pin stop assembly reinsertion. Now we can put our firing pin spring and firing pin back in the slide. Reinstall our barrel. Our recoil assembly. That's how you use the Freedom Gunworks AFTEC Extractor Removal Tool. We're going to have these on our website at www.freedomgunworks.com. Uh, it's a nifty little tool. Everybody should have one of these in their range bag. We're going to sell these for $20.